kind of books I, I like to read when I was younger and what kind of books I like to read now. Um, when I was pretty young, I really liked, um, you know, elementary school, I liked kind of fantasy adventure books. The Redwall series was my favorite series. I think he's still writing them. There are probably like 20 books in the series now. Uh, I stopped reading them a while. Then in high school, I took myself very, very, very seriously. So I had to read things like Steinbeck and um, Light in August, books that I didn't actually enjoy, but I felt like since I was smart, I should be reading. Um, which I regret. That was dumb. Those weren't fun books to read. Um, and then once I graduated from college, I was really, really sick of literary fiction. There's a lot of wonderful literary fiction out there, but I was, I was, I was tired of, of how bleak so much of it is. And um, I had, I had read Harry Potter, um, which started getting popular right around when I was graduating from high school. And then I started really reading um, books for teens and for younger readers, and they were just so much more fun. And I felt like the storytelling mattered so much more in those books. Um, so now I read, I read mostly young adult. I don't read hardly any literary fiction. Sorry, English professors. Um, and I really, I do enjoy reading paranormal, um, but I like reading a lot of contemporary YA. A lot of my favorite books are contemporary YA, uh, meaning set in the real world, modern day. Um, and I really, really like middle grade. I think middle grade, as much as I can't write it, it really, if it, when it's done well, I think those are just the most absolutely delightful, funny, fun, engaging books out there. So I really like good middle grade books. Really obsessed with what she sees as teen culture. She reads all of the magazines. She's obsessed with like the teen soap opera dramas. A lot of people have said, um, "Did you base Eastern Heights on Gossip Girl or um, what's the Canadian one called, Degrassi?" Or and they would all say like their favorite teen soap opera drama. And I can say yes to all of them. I don't actually watch any of them, but they're kind of all the same. So it's very <laughs> easy parody in the book. Um, and she is very, very openly obsessed with that stuff and really, really enjoys it. And I think. Um, a lot of people ask me why she likes pink so much. I don't actually even like pink, but she just loves the color pink. Mm -hmm. And it's because she's she's really grasping at this idea of normalcy that she has in her head to kind of balance all of the paranormal aspects of her life. And um, I think as far as myself in high school, I was more against those things just for the sake of being against them because I didn't want to be like everyone else. Yes. But can you tell us about Okay, Supernaturally. Um, I'm trying not to use spoilers today. I'm guessing a lot of you have not read the book yet. Supernaturally um, kind of puts us in the next natural progression of, of Evie's, Evie's life. She gets a lot of the things that she always thought that she wanted. Kind of realizes that life is still hard and it's not what she had imagined it had been. Because, you know, when you really, really want something, you kind of idealize it in your head. Then when you actually get it, maybe it's not quite as fun as you thought it would be. Um, so, uh, we also learn a lot more about the fairy mythology. Um, we actually go into the fairy realms and see kind of what those are like, get a feel for those. And we learn a lot more about Evie's past, where she came from. Hi, sweetheart. Um, so yes, that's some things. And there's also a new character that I think is one of my favorite characters that I've ever, ever written. His name is Jack. And I love him. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs>
interpretations of them that they've become, you know, like vampires are quasi superheroes now, and, um, you know, werewolves are super cool. And, and, but yeah, so I, I tried to take them more back to the, to the traditional mythology and away from the pop culture interpretations of them. Um, so I'm not, I do not do love triangles. A lot of people have thought that there is a love triangle in this book. Never meant for there to be a love triangle. Um, I never have considered one of the options an option at all in my head. Um, it's okay if you like him. I'm totally cool if you like him. But um, I don't do love triangles because I feel like you can't set up a relationship and expect me to be emotionally invested in them being together and then say, but I also want you to want her to be with him. I want you to be, want her to be with him and I want you to want her to be with him. Um, I don't think that works once the relationship is established because I feel like it cheapens whatever you set up. So there will not be a love triangle. That I can promise. Anything else, 